Thank you guys for clicking on the video. Today I want to show you around Wix's editor. I am filming this during the coronavirus quarantine and I know this is a great time to start your side hustle or even make websites for companies that need it. I want to teach you Wix's editor basics so you can get started today. Let's jump in. So the first thing I always do when I open up an editor, I always use a blank template so I can start from scratch, start clean. And the first thing I always do is I come over to this menus and I go ahead and create some pages. So let's create an uh, about page. Let's create a, let's say like blog page. And then let's go ahead and create like a contact page. Alrighty, there we go. So all of these pages that we currently see are what's going to be shown on the navigation bar. So let me show you how to create a navigation bar. So first, let's go ahead and go to this add icon right here. All right, then we're going to go down here all the way down to menu right here. And this is typically the one I always go with because it's the most basic, but most clean and everything like that. And it's easy to edit. So we're gonna go ahead and drag this out onto the header. All right, and then Wix likes you to stay in between these guidelines right here. And we'll go ahead and shrink this up a little bit like that. So as you can see right here, all of the pages that we created are right here. Now, as you can see, this one's all capital and these are not. So let's go ahead and edit this one. So we're gonna press this little button right here. I wanna do rename. So then I'm just gonna rename it to home. And then let's say we didn't want blog on our navigation bar right here. How you would do that is you press this little button and press hide. Now let's say you didn't want to hide it, but maybe you wanted it to be a sub page of about. So that, that way we just show it. And let's go ahead and press it again and press sub page. So now it's no longer in our navigation bar, but when we preview it, it's gonna be there as soon as you hover the about page. So that's kind of how you create those sub pages. I'm gonna undo that real quick. All right, and then underneath that is background. So this is, I hardly ever touch. This is not something that I even ever use really, but here you can control like the color of the background. You can make the background an image or even a video if you wanted to. Again, I don't really do that. Um, if you do video, it'll probably slow down the load time of your website. So you really don't want to do that. And even with some images, it'll do that as well. So just be careful of that. Now I know we've already kind of covered um, the add button with the menu but this is basically where you add anything so if you want to add a text so you can do headings you can do like their pre-built stuff like this or you can do headings and paragraphs and stuff like that you can also do images so you can do your own uploads and stuff like that you can do galleries so you have a bunch of pre-built stuff like right here you can do vector art shapes, you can do buttons, you can do lists, you can do video, music, social, contact forms. You can do a lot in here. And this is basically where you add everything. Okay. And then let's say you have a logo for the website or a picture. Another place you can add that is through your media. So right here, if you press media and you press upload, it's going to pop open a little window here for you and then I'm just gonna go ahead and drag in a logo from like an old project of mine and here in your site files is where it's gonna upload to so once it's done uploading it'll give you a little confirmation all right perfect and then this is where you can do or this is where it's gonna pop up you can also organize them with folders so you can have your logo folder you can have images folder you can have a bunch of different stuff here but for the sake of the tutorial I'm just going to leave it out in the open and site files um, and then I'm just going to say add to page but before I do that I also want to say if you don't have pictures of your own 
You can also explore Wix's media of pictures. You can buy stuff off Shutterstock or you can use the free ones on Unsplash, which is what I always do. But back to what I was doing, which was adding a logo to the website. So I'm gonna select add to page. And then it's just gonna pop up right here. And then I'm gonna shrink this down to about here. All right, and then I'm going to drag it up to the header and you're gonna see a little highlight like that. And then it's gonna make a little noise um, when you add it there. So there it is. Um, and then let's say you want to change the design. So this is where you, you press that little like brush icon and you press customize design. Here you can customize the text. So you can do the fonts, you can do the color, you can do it on the hover as well. So you can control when you hover over it, it changes colors and when it's clicked, you can have a certain, another different color and stuff like that. I'm not really gonna do that for the tutorial because I'm trying to speed this up a little bit. Under above media and in between ad, this is gonna be the Wix app market. So here Wix has pre-made some apps that you can use on your website and there's also some third party ones in there as well. And I will be honest, I don't think there is even one website that I don't have at least one of these apps on. So there is forums, there's chat, um, you can do contact forms, you can do like, they have free apps, I'm pretty sure all of them are free. Um, oh, there are some that you need the premium membership for, so I take that back, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so there are a lot of, a lot of apps in here. Um, all of them are free up to a certain point, um, but they for more customization, you will need to pay for a premium. And then besides that, on the left side, that's basically all that you really need to get started. Uh, now I kinda wanna cover the top bar real quick with you. Um, so right here, we are editing on the desktop view. If you switch to mobile view, it will let you edit the website on mobile. Now, um, here's where you can kind of edit it and go around and stuff like that you can press like edit menu here and so you can edit how the menu looks on mobile and stuff like that and you'll also be able to hide elements um, and there's mobile tools and everything you can play around with as well now i'm going to go back to desktop view now the second thing I always do on a website is convert to dev mode. So the first thing is I create the, the pages I'm going to need on the website for the most part. Um, and then the second thing is I always turn on dev mode. Um, what this comes with is CMS for blogging or um, if you're going to have members on your site or if you're going to do products and stuff like that. So this is typically what I use it for. It also comes with some more tools and stuff like that. So it comes with properties, which I don't really use that much, but toolbar, um, actually this is active on the other mode as well, but toolbar, I just wanna go over as well because it is so handy. So the toolbar is basically how you control a lot of different things. Like um, if an element is behind or in front of other stuff, you can arrange it to center it or align it to left or right. Um, you can rotate certain elements and change the width and height and where they sit on the page with the position and stuff like that. So I love this little toolbar, but if you don't need it, um, then you can just exit out. If you're a designer like me, then this is a very familiar thing for you. And the last thing for the basics that I really want to cover with you today is up here. There is the save button there's the preview button and publish so save after you make any change or anything like that i recommend you press save and then if you want to preview that change on how it would look on desktop and mobile here is where you can do that and once you're finished making those changes and you're ready to make it public for everyone to see you can go ahead and press that publish thank you guys so much for watching the basics of wix current editor Next video, I'll be comparing the current editor with the new Editor X beta. If you found this video informative, please consider subscribing and commenting any questions you may have about Wix, and I'll try to answer those in the comments and might even make a video based on your question. See you on the next one.